We have a huge new update in the Alvin Kamara case, where he has now reacted to likely receiving a prison sentence and will be locked up for many years. If you've ever been an Alvin Kamara fan, leave a quick like on the video, curious if you've ever been a fan. So Alvin Kamara was involved in a massive incident in downtown Las Vegas just a day before the NFL Pro Bowl began where he ended up going after someone in the middle of a club. Now the current charges that he is facing could carry a sentence behind bars for one to five years in prison. This would completely ruin his NFL career as he will be leaving out of his prime years. Now let's get into the details that were released after law enforcement interviewed the man that was involved. Now, just a couple hours after the entire brawl went down, the man affected by Kamara in this case goes by the name of Darnell Green. He showed up to the hospital to make a report of the situation that took place at the Cromwell Club in Las Vegas. The law enforcement statement goes as followed with the interview of Kamara stating and I quote, Detectives responded and spoke with Green in a recorded interview while he was at the hospital. In Green's interview, he was still shaken up from the situation and was recovering nicely. He was able to recollect from the brawl and described one male, but also mentioned it all happened so fast that he couldn't give much more detail than that. Green stated that he was leaving the Las Vegas club for the night and he made his way for the elevators to the exit. There was a group of people waiting by the elevator. Darnell Green then started a conversation with one of the men. As soon as the elevator opened, Green, in the large party that he was speaking with, began walking towards the opened elevator doors. The main man, who ended up being identified as Alvin Kamara, put his hand on Green's chest, stopping him from walking walking inside of the elevator with the group. Green then pushed Kamara's hand off of his chest, and then Darnell Green was pushed back very hard by the entire group, causing himself to stumble backwards. This is when the entire brawl ended up breaking out in the middle of the hallway. After being pushed, he states that he was being hit by multiple people. He lost consciousness, and the only member of the group that Green can remember is described as a male in his 20s, approximately 5 foot 10, muscular, and had either dreadlocks or braided hair. He also mentions that the suspect was wearing a gray shirt or a gray sweater as well. The law enforcement statement goes further into the actual damage that Darnell Green had taken from this situation. Law enforcement states, Green sustained an orbital fracture on his right eye. He was told that there's a chance he may need surgery. His eye was so swollen, so much so he couldn't even open his right eye. The lower orbital bone, in case you're unaware, is what helps support the eye to stay in place. With a fracture of this sort, it can limit movement of the eyeball, causing double vision and other possible vision issues, especially if there's complications with his surgery. Now it hasn't been exactly confirmed on why this entire situation even broke out in the first place. According to the report, it seems as if Darnell Green was simply just speaking to Alvin Kamara's group when all of a sudden a massive altercation began because Kamara did not want him in a closed elevator with his group of friends. Although Kamara did share his side of the story when arrested by law enforcement, which I will be sharing later in the video, Las Vegas detectives heard the entire story from Darnell Green, and then they went to the Cromwell Club in order to locate and view all of the surveillance footage from that night. This is what revealed practically everything that Darnell Green said went down. He was telling the truth 100%. From being pushed back and forth, to then having a full out brawl where Green was trying to protect himself from the four men, which one of them obviously being Alvin Kamara, law enforcement then put out an arrest warrant for Alvin and insisted on anyone with information on him to call the authorities so they can locate him immediately. Now Alvin Kamara was not located until the Pro Bowl started. This was on the following day, and it's weird enough, Alvin Kamara showed up to the NFL Pro Bowl and act as if nothing happened or even went on the day prior. He went on just to play in the Pro Bowl and maybe he thought that he wouldn't have been caught for this. And it turns out that the NFL was actually informed on Alvin Kamara's situation and they still let him play. But that's when Roger Goodell was actually contacted by law enforcement and he stated that he was told to him from detectives stating, our security team was contacted by the police in Las Vegas just prior to the game, saying that they would 
like to meet with Alvin Kamara after the game and our team made sure that that happened so our security team did what they were asked to do and accommodated them. So yes, it was confirmed that the NFL was made aware of Kamara's situation and his involvement in this court case. However, it seems like the law enforcement had only located him once he stepped onto the field and then they decided to wait until after the game rather than pulling him mid-game to be arrested. When the Pro Bowl finally wrapped up, that's when detectives pulled him aside and began to interview him, which then later resulted in Alvin Kamara being arrested on site. From the interview, Kamara alleges that Green had been calling him and his group certain words, saying things to them which began the tension between him and the group. This must be the reason as to why Kamara put his hands on Green's chest and was not allowing him into the opened elevator, which then, as we know, led to the massive brawl that took place right in the middle of a hallway. Alvin Kamara was brought into custody by the Las Vegas Police Department, where they booked him at the Clark County Detention Center on February 6th. Just 12 hours after, Alvin Kamara then posted his $5,000 bond. He was later released while being given a court date of March 8th in 2022 to begin his trial. It is now just within a week away until we see Alvin Kamara in his court trial where we will likely see the full sentencing on his court case. Now just remember his current charge does carry a possible one to five years in prison so there is a good chance that he will be getting sentenced to some sort of time in prison and with Alvin Kamara being able to stay out of trouble for the most part of his entire NFL career except for one prior charge many years ago, it will really just come down to what information about the situation is released during the court trial. Now, there is also a very good chance that Darnell Green will bring up a situation to where he will be paid or want to be paid a large sum of money in order for all charges to be dropped. That way Alvin Kamara doesn't end up going to prison for one to five years. This wouldn't be the first time that this happened to an NFL player where we see an NFL player do something they definitely shouldn't have done at a club or just really any public setting then getting arrested for it and starting a court case and being able to have the option of paying out the case. In my personal opinion in a court case like this Darnell Green may never be able to work a regular job again. This is due to him probably having vision problems now in his right eye. So it is very likely that Darnell Green will ask for some sort of massive lump sum of money that way he will never have to work worry about money or working a job again as he won't be able to. Alvin Kamara will most likely pay it as he is one of the more wealthy NFL running backs in the league so we're just gonna have to wait and see. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. I'm gonna give you guys up to date every time something new comes out. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.